Hello, this is Silly Mella here today and welcome to another video. In this video we will be upgrading the current hard disk in my MacBook to a SSD. Now, as you can see in the background I'm just unscrewing some of the uh, screws on the back. You will need a uh, screwdriver set for that. You can find them in any store and I've linked them in the description down below. So if you need them go check them out. Uh, on the inside we also need a torque screwdriver, we'll, but we will come back to that later. So. Just quickly doing all the screws. Ooh, look at me how fast. Oh yeah, they're tiny. Make sure you keep them in order so that uh, when you're finished you can easily get them in the same place because some are different. Like the back ones are a little bit longer than the, than the front ones front screws all right now light nice and dusty on the inside <laughs> haven't opened this macbook in a long time so all right now that you're in the first thing you need to do is unplug the battery which i'm doing right there on the top so i'm just a little bit struggling with it be careful you don't want to uh, pull too hard or anything so there it is nice getting some of the dust off cool so now uh, you can just unscrew the uh, hard disk right there, there's a little bracket holding it in place. It has two little torque screws and once you've got them out you can just pull out the little bracket and put it aside. Nice. Alright. You see that little uh, white piece of plastic right there? Just pull it gently. Don't pull it hard because it's still attached to a cable, the data cable. And you will need to unplug that really carefully. Just jiggle it around and it will come loose any second now. There it is. Nice. Alright, so that's your old hard disk. It's gonna be thrown in the trash. No, not really. Just kidding. <laughs> you can replace um, like the uh, disk drive if you want and put the hard disk in there. But it's not really necessary for me. Uh, but because we're installing a 500 gig uh, uh, SSD from Samsung. Now, the first thing you need to do is, uh, from the hard disk, before you throw it away actually, you need to uh, unscrew those little screws on the side of the hard, uh, hard drive. Uh, because you will need them again for the SSD. Uh, these screws actually keep the SSD or hard disk, whatever you have installed in your MacBook, uh, they keep them in place. Like... Um, so that it doesn't uh, jiggle around in the machine itself. Right, there is the Samsung SSD 850 EVO that I will be installing today. And there it is. There it is, the beauty. Come on, come out of the box. Nice, nice, nice. There it is. Alright. So, in the box we have got uh, some uh, instruction uh, books. Crap. And you've got software in there which is only usable for when you're installing this SSD to a uh, Windows computer. So for Mac it, it's not possible to install that, that software, sadly. Because it would improve the speeds a little bit. Not too much though, still fine. You still get easily like 500 uh, uh, megabits per second uh, read and write speed. That's fine. Now the little plastic tab that you just got off the uh, hard disk, you can put that back on the SSD. So if you ever need to get it out again, you can easily pull that little tab to uh, pull it out. So you don't have to struggle with that. Now next you need to put those screws that we just got off the hard disk. Uh, you put them onto the uh, SSD. Because remember, if you don't, then well, you're gonna have a loose SSD in your computer. That's right. There it goes. Just four little screws. I'm using the Torx uh, screw from from what? Scandia or something. I don't even know. What's it called? It's called Scandia. Yeah, I was right. Good. I have it here, so just checked. <laughs> it will be linked in the description below or something similar. Probably pick one from Amazon that's uh, similar to it if you need it. Of course, also the SSD is linked down below. Um, probably to Amazon or just Tweaker so you can find the cheapest store for yourself. Something like that. I will uh, do that for you. 
Now just quickly getting the vacuum uh, cleaner and get out all the dust because it's quite dusty, believe it or not. Look closely and you will see quite a bit of dust that's getting sucked out, especially in the fan. Like uh, do that thoroughly, really easy. It's nice. There you go. And put it in. Just make sure you put the cable back in the right place. There's only one way it can go because the Samsung logo needs to be facing upwards. So yeah, not much uh, that can go wrong there. So put it back. As you can see on this video, the, on the right side of the video, I mean, uh, you have to put those screws in first because they go under and then the other screws will be uh, put into there and you can just put the bracket back on and it will keep it all in place. Now I do have to say that I made a little mistake with the plastic, um, what's it called, plastic bit of uh, tape that you know you can pull out the SSD with. I make made a little mistake because it's supposed to be on the side so it's like flat, now it's facing upwards. But I didn't bother to change it. It's not that big of a deal really. It's fine. Just fine. Alright. Come on, finish it. Yes. Nice. It's in. Now make sure you uh, put back the uh, cable for the battery. Because if you forget, then well, you machine ain't gonna work. <laughs> right. Put that back. Actually clean that because it was quite dusty as well. You can see me jiggle that uh, little bit of plastic there. I was quite annoyed by it, but I just thought, what the hell. Put it back over and no one will notice. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, just screw back the uh, the screws on the back. Make sure you get the long ones on the back again. If you're uh, if you did, uh, as I said, you have probably placed them in order, and it won't be any deal at all. Just screw them back in, and you're done. So nice, so nice. I can tell I am using this SSD for quite some time now, like uh, two three weeks something like that and it's brilliant it makes such a big difference if you've got like a uh, macbook pro from 2012 or maybe earlier even uh, just buy an ssd like it's only 200 euros maybe dollars for you whatever currency you're living um, just use that really it makes the machine so much faster and boot time and all um, yeah, if you want to know what the difference between my uh, hard disk and uh, this SSD is, then you can check out the next video, which will come up straight afterwards. Um, it will be also linked, of course, in just a second. And uh, yeah, go check that out, because I think it's quite brilliant to see the difference. It's like the SSD is really, really fast. Brilliant. Makes such a big difference, especially when you're using like Photoshop and so stuff. It makes a big difference, so much uh, snappier. So anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time and have a great day. Bye.